Hello children! Today we are going to talk about the community in the past. We are going to tackle the community of Sapporo in the past. Do you know the region of the name of your community? Let us now read the story of who has lived in Sapporo, how it got its name, and the changes that have taken place in the community where he lived. He is Gabriel Valencia Maraside. He was born on March 18, 1963 in Barangay Bagsok, Pula, Oriental, Mindoro. That same year, their community became a town. It was called Socorro. The name Socorro originated from the name of the wife of Congressman Luciano Jusson, who served as an assemblyman then. Below are the things he noticed in his community in the past. The people of Socorro are generally farmers. They plant on the rich and healthy soil that is suitable for different crops. The livelihood of the people who live in the barangay near the Nauhan Lake is fishing. In the past, the roads in Socorro were not yet made of concrete. Instead, they were made from big and sturdy logs. To go from one place to another, our ancestors used the kalesa, a carriage pulled by a horse. Others ride on a horse or on a carabels, while others walk. The houses in their community were commonly made of wood, bamboo, happies, and their useful materials from forests and seas. Every household had a water pump for their water supply. Some had deep wells at their backyard. To wash clothes, women would go to the brook or river where children also enjoyed bathing themselves. Gas lamps were the most common source of lighting in every household. Firewood and charcoal were used for cooking. Barot saya or a pair of blouse and skirt were commonly worn by women. They would wear a dress or terno for special occasions. Men would normally wear a camisa de chino and a set of loose pants. For special occasions, they would wear barong tagalog. Let's talk about the pastime or the games of the children before. Most of the games they play were done outdoors. They would run, jump, and chase their playmates in the fields or on the roads. The children's play now are different from before. Let's have the games of the children before. First, we have Sipa. It is played by kicking a flattened bottle cup with a fluffy tail of shredded plastic. The aim of the game is for the one kicking the sipa to not drop it on the floor. Second is trumpo. This is called a top or trumpo. It is played by spinning. The player that spins it the longest wins the game. Third is the tumbang preso. This is played by hitting the can that is placed inside a circle drawn in the ground. The players will try to knock the can down by throwing one slipper at a time. The one guarding the can must see to it that the can can't or doesn't go outside the circle. Ico. This game is played by hopping from one box to the next. A player that gets to place his or her check in all boxes finishes and wins the game. We have Patintero. This is played between two teams, the runners and the guards. The runners must be able to pass their bead lines without being touched by the guards or any part of their bodies. Luksong Baka. This is played by jumping over a layer whose body is bent over. Last one is the hide and seek or what we call a guan. The seeker will count from 1 to 10 while the other players are hiding. <laughs>